Assalamu alaikum everyone. This is Deanna with Lessons from the Gulf.com. First, I would like to wish you all Ramadan Mubarak and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our fasting and ibadah. Also, I'm sorry I have not posted in a while, but inshallah, I hope to post more content in the future. So today I would like to share with you simple phases of the moon craft I did with my kids to teach them how Ramadan begins with a new moon and how the moon goes through phases until it becomes a new moon again. And this is what it looks like. Just a simple phase of the moon craft. So to make this, you're going to need two paper plates. Some paint, I have dark blue paint for the night sky and silver paint for the stars and some black paint for the moon. You're going to need some star stickers or star confetti, some scissors, a glue stick, a pencil and a ruler, and some paint brushes. And then you're going to need this, which I have available for free on my blog with the names of the phases of the moon and the moons right here. Forget to mention you're going to need a brad as well. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is to take your paper plate. I just do this very simply to find the center. I just fold it in half and bend it in the center and then I do the same thing on the other side. And then I mark that center with a pencil. And then you're going to want to take your math compass and make a circle for the moons to show through. And then you want to make a small little box about one inch next to it for the names. Don't have to be perfect here, just a simple box. Then you're going to want to paint it and set it aside to dry. Then set it aside to dry. Next, we're going to want to cut out these moons. Now we're going to paint the different phases. If you do not want to paint, you can buy these moon stickers I found online. And it has the moon phases for you, so all you have to do is just peel the backing off and stick them on the paper plate. So you could use these instead if you don't want to paint. That's just another option for you. Let me put this to the side. So make sure your moons are facing all in the same direction before you start to paint. We're going to paint the new moon. Next we're going to make the waxing crescent. Next we're going to do the first quarter. Next we're going to do the waxing gibbous. And the full moon we'll leave it alone, obviously. Next we'll do the waning gibbous. Then we'll do the third quarter. And last we'll do the waning crescent. And 
We'll put all these to the side to dry while we work on some other things. Now we're going to mark the plate where we're going to stick the moons once they're dry. So I just do it like I'm cutting a pizza. And that's where I'm going to place the moons when they're dry. So I'm going to take this and make a small little circle with my math compass to put it between the plates. may not be necessary for you, but I feel like it turns better if there's something there to separate the two plates. And then I'll cut this out. I just guesstimated the size. So once your moons are dry, you want to glue them in those places where you marked, along with the names. You're going to have to line it up with what you cut out to make sure it's in line with your cutout. And then I'll glue this in as well. And I'll just go around and do the same thing with all of them. Now you want to poke a hole in the center of them with a pencil. Poke a hole in the center of this. Before you put the bread on, you want to make some sparkles for this night sky. Allow that to quickly dry. Go ahead and put your star stickers. I'm going to glue confetti on because that's what I have. And once that's all done, you can put it together. You place this cardboard in between the plates just to help it turn a little bit better and get your brad. And there you go. Simple, cute little phases of the moon craft. Hope you and your kids enjoy it. Jazakallah khair for watching. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you all for teaching our children. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.